Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. So, as you know, the first uh, month of the year, January, we always spend that. We encourage you to go pray and fast, go to the prayer mountain, or at least uh, somehow uh, lessen your gadgets or just focus on God. So we are encouraging you with that. And some people had done that for seven days, others 14 days, even other 21 days. And uh, I'm hearing some testimonies like uh, the other young young professional, she's a teacher, and she said she's amazed because during her prayer and fasting, that's the time that she learned how to really have devotion every day. She disciplined herself, and she is uh, really uh, a teacher, and her schedule is so heavy, but she's amazed that she was able to really did much done before. She was able to really catch up with her schedule, at hindi siya ganun ka-stress. Amen? God is good. Right? So, I've heard also a testimony ng isang pastor natin. Young pastor, young couple. Actually, they are, they are very young. The pastor there is uh, Pastor Peter in Pampanga. But she seems too old already. So, she needs to, to uh, pass the baton. So, she kind, he kind of trained his uh, apo, yung grandson niya, ang kanyang uh, trinene. He's married already. And sabi nung sa testimony nung uh, young pastors natin, sabi niya, nung na, na, tinanggap niya raw yung church, yung ibig sabihin siya na yung mag-alaga uh, ng church na yon. sabi niya, instead of receiving a double portions from Elijah, ang nareceive niya raw, double problems. Ang daming problema. Why? Because yung church po nila doon ay uh, maririmata na yung house. It's a house church. Maririmata na siya and they need a million para yan ay kanilang makuha. Makuha sa banko. Maridim. And then another thing is yung mga instrument nila gamit sa church talagang problema. And he is a working, he's a working pastor at the same time. He's a credit investigator. So, anyway, he did his part. And after that, during the time, ang, ang kanyang habit is to always sow seeds to people na nami-meet niya during the time sa mga credit investigation niya. And uh, one of the guy came to know the Lord through him. Nakilala niya ang Panginoon. At ganun din yung kanyang kapatid nakakilala. And... Uh, Amazingly, nung minsan tinanong siya, ano ba ang problema mo? Bakit ka nagpe-prayer and fasting? Nagpe-prayer and fasting siya for seven days. Nangangayayat na siya, no? So, na, ano ba? Bakit ba? Ganon. So, he shared his heart. Ito yung nangyayari sa church. Da, 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 da. And then one time, kinausap siya, how much do you need? Sabi niya, I need a million. Sabi niya. And then, nag-usap pala yung magkapatid. Sige, ikaw bahala dun sa... Sa house church na yan, ako bahala sa gamit sa church. And God is an amazing God. He is a big God. Amen? Pag sumagot siya, more than we can ever think or ask for. Alam nyo, sinagot yung 1 million. At yung 500,000 para sa gamit sa church. And that is amazing. Come on, give the Lord a praise for that. Amazing, amazing, amazing testimony. Sino sa palagay nyo ang pwedeng gumawa lang nun? Hindi ba? Kundi ang Diyos. Eh, walang tao ngayon na hihingi ka o ano, nabibigyan ka ng ganon. But God moves in their hearts because He's been faithful sowing seeds everywhere He goes. And He is doing His part as a pastor there. And He's inviting us, please come, see what's happening in the church. There's a revival. And these people are attending the church. At yung nagbigay ng pera na yun, pagkakabanatuan pa. So, we're next. <laughs> Amen? So, God is good. So, may nangyayari po when we pray and fast. Uh, mysteriously, in the heavenlies, yung mga blessing na gustong hadlangan, makaka-breakthrough ka in that area. So, the Lord is good. Amen? So, we want to hear some testimonies from you, lalo na sa ating prayer partner breakfast. That would be by March, I think. So, sana we can hear testimonies do sa mga nag-prayer and fasting. 
So, God is good. May ginagawa ang Panginoon din sa atin doon sa Kabanatuan. Merong isa doon na umatend. Nung misan, umatend siya sa church. Bago siya umatend ng church sa Kabanatuan, uh, nagkaroon ng problema sa bahay and they have some arguments at mainit ang ulo niya. And uh, after that, he still, she still decided na pumunta ng church. At nung nandun siya sa church, nung pagkatapos nung ating, you know, uh, nung service, my altar ministry, of course, and then she came to be prayed for sa kanyang mata. Kasi pala, she's been crying to God. Sabi niya, God, darating yung anak ko. Six years kung hindi nakita yung anak ko. Sabi niya, pero darating siya, I won't be able to see her face. His face, dahil sa, siya ay, uh, malabo ang mata niya. Kailangan inaakay siya para punta sa church or somewhere. So, habi niya, paano ko siya makikita? And that day, kahit na may mga problema, he decided to go to the church at nagpa-pray po siya. At during the time na pinag ko, wala naman akong naramdaman na anything, alright? I just obey God, hinipang ko ng konti yung kanyang mata. Buti na lang hindi yun yung power. <laughs> <laughs> Ibang power. Yung tunay na power ang nareceive niya. Amen? So, I asked her, okay, is it okay? Sabi niya, opo, opo, ganun. Tapos nung umuwi siya, sabi niya, nagtataka siya yung mga detalye ng cinema paglabas niya. Yung mga tao parang nakikita niya, yung mga detalye. Tapos umuwi siya sa kanila, mga ilang araw na, three days, umiiyak siya sa kapatid niya dahil, sabi niya, talagang nakakakita na ako. Sabi niya, grabe, nak nakikita na kita, nakikita ko na kayo. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. At sabi niya, sinubukan niya raw na isuot yung karayom sa sinulid. Tama ba? <laughs> isuot yung sinulid sa karayom. Oh, nakikinig naman pala eh. Okay? So, isuot yung sinulid sa karayom. And he is uh, so excited na talaga, wow, nakakakita na ako. Grabe. At sinubukan niya ring manahi at nakapanahi na siya. Come on, give the Lord a praise for that. Amen. Hallelujah. So isa po yan sa ginagawa ng Panginoon doon and we believe because we're also setting our hearts na gawin yan, yung mag-prayer and fasting uh, kahit one meal a day o ibang mga kaparaanan to really pray and fast. So, may kapangyarihan po kapag tayo ay nananalangin sa Panginoon. Uh, God is more willing to answer our prayers than we are willing to pray. Amen. Kala natin nagpipray na tayo. Yung pala, nag-wonder lang yung mind natin. Pray seriously to God. Be sure na talagang clear yung mind mo when you pray. Be sure na talagang you're desperate. Amen? Desperate to receive from God. Yung po ang kailang, kailangan nating prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Tayo po'y sandaling pumikit para sa ating mensahe ngayon. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We give you thanks to God. Panginoon, salamat po na nandito ka sa aming kalagitnaan. God, we thank you that you are alive. Your presence is here. Thank you, God, that you can speak to us. Even through the songs, God, through these mga messages. Thank you. Open our hearts. Open our spirit. And God, we pray that you would continually change us even as we hear your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So kanina po nung si, nung nag-transition tayo na sinalo ni Sister Eileen yung yung uh, yung ating worship binanggit niya yung tungkol sa tinatawag na heavenly father natin na uh, hindi tayo kailang mag-alala dahil meron tayong ama sa langit na that take care of us hindi tayo kailang magutom hindi tayo kailangang mag-worry and I was just uh, Excited because yan po yung message ko ngayong, uma, ngayong hapo na ito. I want to talk about the unconditional love of the Heavenly Father. So sabi ko, wow! Talaga Lord, talagang totoo ka. Hindi naman kami nag-usap yet you are confirming your word. So this afternoon, I want you to just really prepare your heart, get excited. Huwag nating hayaan na tayo ay maapektuhan ng mga sitwasyon. Focus on God, focus on the word receive. Nais po natin na magkaroon ng kapahayagan kung ano yung tinatawag na unconditional love. Kaya marami pong mga insecure persons o isa sa mga dahilan, it's because hindi natin nararanasan pa yung tinatawag na 
unconditional love of the Father. So, uh, actually, yung ating tinatawag na image about our Heavenly Father is being affected by our relationship or how we react or how we relate with our human father. Okay? Agree ba kayo doon? Minsan po naapektuhan yan. Kung ikaw ay lumaki na, halimbawa, yung father mo, uh, laging wala, absentee father, like my father before, sometimes it's hard for you to pray. Ano kaya siya? Nakikinig kaya nga siya? Kasagutin niya kaya ang panalangin ko? So may mga ganong struggles na nangyayari because nar naranasan mo na you been, your father has been away or wala lagi siya. O kaya naman, if your father is like, hindi na po provide yung needs mo, of course, hindi talaga mapoprovide ng father lahat ng needs natin. Okay? Earthly father, hindi nila niya mapoprovide lahat ng needs. Madidisappoint ka lang if you keep on looking to your father. Because our heavenly father is the one who provide for us. But because they are our father, may tendency tayo na talagang to look unto them. Pero kapag ka hindi na ibigay, it affects your relationship with God. Na parang ang hirap mag-pray for provision. Ang hirap mag-pray that God will provide because hindi mo gano'n naranasan with your heavenly father. Tama po ba? Okay? So kung ang ating perception about our father, or relasyon natin, halimbawa, yung father mo, napaka higpit, super stricto, militar ang approach sa bahay. Ako masusunod. Ako ang boss dito. Yung tipong ganun, ano po? Uh, parang, ang tingin mo sa father, heavenly father is, para siyang nakaupo sa trono na laging may hawak ng, alam mo yun, ng hagupit. Na tuwing magkakamali ka at hindi ka sumusunod, parang ang feeling mo, ay nako, ano, lagot ako. Laging ganun ang pakiramdam mo, uh, is, in, ikaw ay takot, insecure, or parang uh, lagi kang mali. So, ganun na apektuhan ng ating mga relasyon sa Panginoon. Kapag, uh, because of what we have experienced from the past. And of course, yung positive effect din ito, kung yung father mo ay loving, or... Uh, talagang binibigyan ka ng attention, it's very healthy. Lalo na sa mga, uh, sa mga anak na babae. Secured in the love of the father. Kaya, pag yung anak na babae na yan, lagi yung niyayakap o hinahalik ka ng tatay, hindi yan maghahanap ng bata pa ng, haha, ng yayakap at hahalik sa kanila. Okay? Kaya, napakahalaga yung touch of the father. Napakahalaga ng father. Amen? Asan ang mga tatay? All right, Mga tatay, we honor you for that. Sobrang laki ng role ninyo, pero syempre, yung, yung expectation din, mahirap ano po. Pero, whatever this is, is the situation that we have before with our father, syempre, hindi naman perfect ang father natin, still, we need to honor them. We still need to love them. Like halimbawa, sa, sa sitwasyon namin, sa family namin, hindi very expressive ang father ko. Sa kanya, ang kanyang way ng pagsishow ng love is he provides for us. Although lagi siyang wala, lagi siya sa abroad, lagi siyang wala, pero napag-aaral niya kaming lahat, seven. Napag-aaral niya sa college. So, yun ang way niya. Before, hindi ko maintindihan yun because he's always not around. And there are times I'm complaining. You know, even siguro yung mga uh, kabataan, bakit laging wala? You're looking for attention. And when he's around, hindi mo naman malambing. Like, takot ka. Okay? Parang buti pa wala siya. Yung mga ganon. Ano? Because, uh, hindi rin sila ganon in his family before. So we need to understand, ano ba yung, ano ba yung dinaanan ng tatay ko? Bakit siya ganito? So that we would be able to understand them too and be able to still love them and honor them. Nung makakilala lang po ako sa Panginoon, <clears throat> doon ko lang naintindihan siya. At doon lang na naumpisahan ko na kaming magkapatid na ipakita sa kanya yung love. Yung expression of love through, you know, action. So yung paghag, yung pagkis, yung just spending time with him. So, ah, uh, because nung makakilala na sa Panginoon. Amen? 
So, when our hearts, our spirit is open to God, of course, uh, ma mas maiintindihan natin sila. Okay? So, love nyo bang mga tatay nyo? Okay? Praise God for that. So, we love and honor them. Okay, so ano bang ibig sabihin ng unconditional love? Before we understand that, let's see first, anong ibig sabihin ng love in the human term? Ano ibig sabihin? What do we mean by love? Dito po sa Wikipedia Dictionary, it says here, Love is an emotion of a strong affection and personal attachment. So it is uh, an emotion. Strong emotion. Dito naman sa American Heritage Dictionary, it says here, It is an intense affection for another person based on familial or personal ties. Other than the intense affection, uh, it stems from a strong attraction to that person. So, kung makikita natin dito, nakalagay dito, based on, sabi dito, intense affection to another person based on familiar, familial or personal ties. So, ito po ay emotion. Sa human term, ang love is emotion. You feel it. Talagang feel na feel ko. Masarap naman yung feeling na yon, di ba? So, it's a feeling. It's an emotion. Yun yung ating, yung, yun ang ating definition. And, kaya siya, siya, kaya siya conditional because it is based on pag napupulpil niya yung gusto mo, love mo lang siya. Pero pagka hindi na napupulpil yung gusto mo, ayaw mo na sa kanya. I've heard somebody, a couple, yesterday na uh, binisit ng ating worker at talagang they're trying to reconcile them because they don't love each other anymore. Merong iba na yung girl. Sabi niya, because I don't love him anymore. Sabi niya, I don't feel it anymore. So it's not a feeling, okay? Hindi po feeling ang love. Because if love is a feeling, madadaya tayo. Because not all feelings are true. Hindi totoo lahat ng ating mga pakiramdam. Okay? So, ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng tinatawag na con unconditional love of the Father? So, basahin muna natin to sa Pwede natin itong ma-illustrate sa, uh, sa ating verse ngayon. Actually, can anyone comprehend the true meaning of love or the unconditional love? So, basahin muna natin to sa Luke 15. Luke 15, that is 11 to 24. At bago natin basahin yan, uh, magbibigay na muna ako ng background dito. So, and then we will read the uh, verse 17. Thank you, Lord, for your word, God. Thank you, Jesus. So, kunikwento ni Jesus kung anong nangyari. Kasi may na nagtanong sa kanya, bakit ikaw kaibigan ka ng mga sinners? Habi niya, bakit ikaw ganito, ganon? So, nagkwento si Jesus about the love of the Father. May isang ama na minamahal niya yung kanyang dalawang anak, panganay at bunso na lalaki. At sabi ng lalaki sa kanya, sa tatay niya, Bigay niyo na sa akin ang aking inheritance. Sabi niya, di ba? Uh, during those times, at saka yung mga panahon natin noon, hindi natin basta hiningi ang inheritance while the parents are still living. Kasi kung gagawin natin yun, yun ay parang uh, like disrespectful. Hindi, it's not acceptable. Pero ngayon medyo okay na, di ba? Medyo okay na, mas open na ngayon tungkol dyan. At dito nga sa nangyari na to, binigay ng ama, napakabait ng ama. Binigay sa kanya yung kanyang, yung kanyang inheritance na habang, habang uh, buhay pa siya. At anong ginawa nung bunso na to? Itong bunso na to na mabait? <laughs> yung bunso na ito, ang ginawa niya is uh, lumayo siya ng malayo para walang makialam sa kanya at inispend niya all of his money sa luxurious things or sa pleasures in life. Talagang uh, siguro nang babae siya, siguro na, na, uh, na, na uh, like nagkaroon siya ng mga bisyo, umiinom or you know, para sa kanya life is life is a vacation, life is uh, life is pleasures. Ganun ang kanyang pananaw, maybe. 
And dumating yung panahon na yung kanyang mga, yung kanyang inheritance ay nawala na, nagkaroon ng tagutom o pa, fe, famine dun sa lugar na yon At anong nangyari? Siyempre, pag wala ng pera, dun na talaga mag-iisip ng husto. Wala nang makain. At natuto naman siya na kailangan niya magtrabaho. At nagtrabaho siya, ay, siya ay nagtrabaho siya, pero ang trabaho niya ay tagapag-alaga ng baboy. Okay? So, yung, yung, kahit sa time natin ngayon, kapag tagapag-alaga ka, medyo mababa yung, yung level na yon And talagang mababang naranasan niya. Actually, sinabi rito sa verses na nagkaroon siyang pagnanais na kainin na rin yung pagkain ng baboy dahil sa sobrang gutom niya. Pero yet, walang magbigay sa kanya. What a miserable life. Okay? So kapag tayo po ay lumayo sa Diyos at tayo ay nabuhay on our own, yung gusto lang natin ang gusto natin gawin, ganito ang mangyayari sa atin. Hindi dahil sa gusto yun ng Diyos, kundi you made that decision. And of course, lahat ng decision na mali, lahat ng kasalanan, meron yang kabayaran. Sabi nga, the penalty of sin is death. So may kabayaran nyo, so kahirap-hirap-hirap siya. Uh, uh, but praise God, dito sa verse 17, anong nangyari? Basahin natin, verse 17. Buksan natin, Luke 15:17. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father, father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. He got up and went to his father. So, maganda naman, ano, when times comes na ganito po ang nangyayari, puro problema, it's good also to turn to God, to come to our senses. Lord, bakit kaya? Ito ba'y pagsubok lang? Pinatitibay mo lang ba yung faith ko? Because it might be, okay? Or am I doing something that is not right before you? Meron ba akong mga disobedience in my life, in my heart? It's good to evaluate where we are. And instead of being hardened in our hearts, you know, pagka misa na hardened ka na na, parang wala lang, tinanggap mo na lang yung sitwasyon mo. It's not supposed to be like that. Amen? Hindi dapat ganun, natanggapin mo lang, kundi do something about it. At yun ang ginawa niya, he did something. Inayos niya muna yung puso niya. And then he set an action to it. Amen? Nilagyan niya na ng action. Pupunta na ako sa aking ama. At ito susunod na verses, anong sabi rito sa susunod na verses? But while he was still, verse 20, at uh, uh, 20 pa rin, so he got up and went to, the, to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion to him. He ran to the sun and threw the, uh, his arms around him and kissed him. So, All the world pala ang father na to, kaya siya unconditional love, ano? Kasi, imagine, wala, nang, wala na, ginawa na siya ng masama ng kanyang anak. And because he's a good father, he's a picture of the heavenly father, he was able to wait for his son day and night. Naghihintay pala siya. Hinihintay niya lang yung kanyang anak na bumalik. Amen? Bu hinihintay niya lang na bumalik. Day and night, naghihintay siya. So, ganun din po ang ating Heavenly Father. No matter where we are, what situation we are, ano man, gano'n man kalaki yung kasalanan natin o pagkukulang natin sa Kanya, He's just waiting for us to turn unto Him and says, God, I need you. I'm desperate for you. Move in my situation, God. Forgive me, O God. And sa verse 21, The Son said to Him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. So he's very repentant. But the father said to, he, to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandal at his feet. Bring the patent cup and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. 
for the son of, ma of mine was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found so they began to celebrate so makikita po natin dito na talagang nandun yung celebration nandun yung rejoicing sa pagbabalik ng kanyang anak so that is the love of the heavenly father that is the unconditional love of the father and who can comprehend that hindi ba sabi po sa bible that god is love first john 4 8 god is love that's the meaning of the love of the father god is love so john 3 15 says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him will not perish but have everlasting love life so makita natin dito uh, unconditional love is just giving and giving and giving amen kahit walang kapalit so uh, uh, unconditional love is doing something doing the best for the one you love it's not so much about emotions kaya yung ating love month ngayon di ba marami tayong mga topic about love month merong mga dates na mangyayari at ito rin group dates to para sa mga YP please come Ganon din yung mga young couple natin. Please come. So, we can still learn more and more about this love. So, love is putting the highest best for the person you love. It's not a feeling. Feeling is madaya. Okay? Dahil alam mo, minsan yung feeling na mahal mo yung may asawa, madaya yan. Hindi yan totoo. That's a lie from the devil. Amen? Hindi totoo yan. Don't believe that. Because love, true love is an action. True love is giving. Giving what is best for the one that you love. So kung mahal mo ang yung girlfriend, okay? Kung mahal mo yung girlfriend mo, you will wait at the right time. Uh, advance na ba ako magturo ngayon sa mga, <laughs> sa mga nasa wifey natin event? You will wait, alright? Because you want to give the highest best for the person that you love. Not just what you feel right now. So yung po yung tunay na love. Love can wait. Love is putting the best for the one you love. Love is unconditional. Love is giving whether you feel it or not. Whether they do good or not. Whether they, they meet the condition or not. Amen? Ang pinaka-best nating illustration is yung talagang love of the father and the son. And of course, yung best illustration is yung mga anak natin nga. Di ba? God put that. Heavenly love to your uh, to your heart for your children especially if you are if you have a spiritual birth you came to know the Lord already it says that uh, sabi ng Panginoon sa Romans 8 na, na He shed abroad His love to us he, 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 sabi dito sa Romans 8 na He, he shed His love towards us our hearts through the Holy Spirit so he spread that love in our hearts we receive when we receive Jesus in our hearts when we receive him when we believe him that he is the Son of God that is able to forgive us we receive that unconditional love it's more easier to love the unlovable it's more easier to love the unacceptable di ba minsan ang minamahal lang natin yung Pansinin mo yung sarili mo, kinakausap mo lang lagi yung paborito mong kausapin, di ba? Kapag ka, pag ka medyo unacceptable at hindi na meet yung, yung standard mo na magiging kaibigan ko siya o kaya magiging asawa o kaya uh, magiging ka-close, you don't want to talk to them because meron kang siniset na standard at yan yung tinatawag na human standard. God died for all. Sabihin po natin, for all. He gave, he gave His life for all. So mahal niya ang lahat. Wala siyang pinipili. And God gave you that unconditional love to be able to love those people. So as, ano pang isang paraan nating makikita na God loves us is while we were yet sinners, sa Romans 5.8, while we were yet sinners, He died for us already. Kaaway pa lang tayo, namatay na si Jesus para sa atin. Amen? Before we even know that He loves us, He died already for us. And then patuloy kang winiwin ng God, winiwin ka niya. In different ways, pinakikita niya sa'yo yung pag-ibig na yan. Until you respond to Him, Yes, God, I want to love you too. 
I want to accept that love. So I believe na uh, isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit maraming ang insecurities is because we don't understand so much the love of God for us. That God love us. God has unconditional love for us. Kaya kahit tayo mga pil na rejected, halimbawa, rejected ka sa trabaho, ilang beses ka nang nag-apply ng trabaho, nare-reject ka. Di ba nakaka-trauma yun? Alright? Meron akong kakilala na meron siyang boil. May bukol siya sa kanyang leg. Eight times na na-operahan siya. Hindi ba nakaka-trauma, Lord? Love mo ba talaga ako? Di ba? But anyway, God heals her. And uh, that should that should make us uh, secured na, Lord, I know this is just temporary. I know, oh God, that you love me. Meron ka lang kadahilanan bakit ako dumadaan sa mga bagay na ito. I know you love me, oh God. I want to receive your unconditional love. So whether na itanggihan ka ng friends mo o ng ng iyong uh, ng iyong uh, special someone or rejected ka ng parents, relatives I want you to know that God loves you God has that unconditional love for us and you need that para uh, you would be able to face the reality of life and not only that, so that you would be able to love even the unlovable Amen? So, pag uwi ninyo ngayon, think about those things. Sino, Lord, yung parang ayaw kong kausapin? Unti-unti kausapin mo. And you would see that unconditional love will come. We need to exercise the muscle of love. Hindi yan may exercise kung ang mahal lang natin, yung mga nagmimit lang ng condition natin. Yung ating lang asawa o yung ating lang mga uh, pamilya. Subukan natin na mahalin din even those the unlovable as what Jesus had done for us.